modern technology. Um, all virtual. But with the magic of television, we're actually covering live every day the uh, Vuelta a España on the Olympic Channel. And uh, if you don't have the Olympic Channel, uh, you better hurry up and get it because we're also going to be covering live the World Championships. Now, Bob's really going to enjoy it. This has been a, an interesting uh, time zone to work on because we've been covering the Vuelta a España, which obviously is uh, eight hours difference away from here. So we get into the studio at four o'clock in the morning, which actually, for the moment, seems quite reasonable. The great thing is we've finished at 11, and then Bob uh, paces me around the 470 on the cycle path. But um, the World Championships that we're going to cover uh, a week after the end of the Vuelta, it might be a little bit different. I just got the call signs through this morning. We start commentating most days at 2.30 in the morning. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to watch, but you can uh, DVR and watch it. Yeah, the, the, the junior men's road race at 2.30, that's going to be a, a, a hit. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> the, the ratings bonanza. <laughs> But if anybody recalls, ESPN had the rights to the Tour de France the entire 90s. For 10 years, they did a 10-year deal, 500 grand. That's how much it was worth after Greg LeMond retired. Nobody watched, and ESPN put the coverage further and further back into the middle of the night. So they would do a re-air show starting at midnight, Eastern. So very few people were watching the tour. And the owners of the Tour de France, ASO, who still own it to this day, same family, they, they were not stoked with ESPN's coverage. And OLN had been covering mountain bikes, and, uh, and because I was racing mountain bikes, they asked me to cover the mountain bikes with Susan DiMatte Di and Davis Finney. And I thought that was great. I was out of the mill, I was talking about bikes, it was awesome, and they negotiated for the rights to the tour in 1998, and they did a three-year deal, but it didn't kick in until 2001. And so to practice, to see if we could do it, we did the Giro, the Giro d'Italia in 2000, with Ron worked on it, Phil and Paul were in the studio. In, uh, <laughs> and this is one of my best moments in TV. This encapsulates my entire TV career. <laughs> they sent a producer called John Doherty, who was a very proper British sports BBC trained producer, like way up in the hierarchy. And in England, they still have the class system. That's what we, we rebelled against. That's why I, when, I, when I pulled my foot out in Cardiff Castle, I was so angry. It was like a lot of things, a lot of pathology there. And this man, Steve Doherty, was my boss at the Giro. But I was, had lived in Italy for seven years, and we won the Giro. So I'm like, I'm everybody's boss. <laughs> I am everybody's boss. And believe me, just ask them. They will tell you. 